Hey guys, welcome back to Even the Sparrow Homestead. I'm Jess. I am Dustin. And it's been super busy around here. Uh, we've really been busy. Working and then coming home and harvesting and preserving. I think every night, but one night this week after work, we had something in the canner, either the pressure canner or the water bath canner. And that's just in, you know, obviously on top of everything that we're doing, you know, besides, you know, animal chores, uh, everything that we have to do on the homestead, which is. Look, we're not complaining at all. It's a blessing. This is the first year we were able to grow peppers. And it is shaping up to be a nice pepper year. We have so many peppers coming on now. Like, it is going to be the year of the pepper, I think. It is. It's the year of the pepper. Tomato Alley is going crazy. Um, if you follow along, um, right in this video, we're going to show you um, some of the varmint or pests that are eating our tomatoes and what to do about it. So these hornworms, they are generally, seems to be attracted to the nightshade family. Um, they'll hide underneath your leaves and demolish a plant in no time flat. So if you see them, you want to get rid of them. Um, now a lot of people, they go out at night with a black light. That's, they'll glow in the dark. If you don't want to go out with a black light, another way is, that's its poop. There's all sorts of black poop from the worm. So, if you don't want to go out at night, just look underneath your plants and uh, if you see some of that, start looking for that worm. Uh, this, this guy is going to uh, come off here. And, uh, Ew. <laughs> so we have two more mouths to feed now. Frida and Fritz Spitzhaben. They're silver Spitzhaben chickens. The rest of the flock has gotten used to them through some chicken wire um, for a couple of days. And so today they got to come out and it's going pretty well. They, you know, have to start at the bottom of the pecking order. But really our flock has been not all that bad. They intimidate them, but they haven't attacked them. So we had harvested all of our brassicas out of the garden and so I had just put them in bags, put them in the fridge until I had time to deal with them. And this week we cooked up our kohlrabi and the rutabaga and uh, we're trying to determine if it's going to have a space in our fall garden or not. So we had never grown kohlrabi before, let alone even tried any. So. Um, I was working on processing these because there's no point in growing the food if you're not going to eat it, right? So I'll show you on one of these purple ones here. It's a little easier to see the layers. You have the purple skin and then there's this fibrous layer below the skin and it is pretty tough so you have to really get in there. They're kind of a lot of work, I think. Um, so they better be delicious, otherwise they may not make it back into another garden, but excuse our dogs making weird noises. So you can see right here, I already have the peel off, but you can kind of see that there are some fibers left, and they're pretty tough, like, this would not make good eats, it's like eating wood pulp on your vegetables. So, you kind of really got to get into this quite a bit. But we planted some purple top and the regular white top varieties and we are going to uh, peel these and basically make a mashed potato with them. So we ended up with this mini rutabaga, this mini kohlrabi, and that many peels. So. Probably got as many peels as we did the rest of the food. So I hope they taste good. Oven roasted kohlrabi with salt, pepper, parmesan cheese, and thyme. It reminds me of, uh, I mean it's a root vegetable, so it reminds me of like radishes, like roasted radishes in a way. Not so, I see or whatever like yeah I don't know radishes have their own distinct flavor it's actually really mild it tastes good 
It reminds me of like roasted potatoes in a way. Um, but with that root vegetable um, flavor. No, it tastes pretty good. It's similar to mashed potatoes. I like it. Well, thanks for joining in today. We hope that you enjoyed the review of the kohlrabi and the rutabaga and the recipes. And it's really easy to grow, so you still got time to throw it in the garden. And uh, we appreciate you stopping in. Until next time, bye.